Hi everyone, Karen Litz here, CEO founder of On The Go Talent. Thank you for being here. I am so grateful to be in this moment. Um, I have been very honest and transparent and today was kind of a funky, like energetic uh, decrease. And I thought, you know what? What do you love to do most? How can you fix it? What the heck do you need to do? And I sat back, I listened to a wonderful podcast, and I got my answers. So I figured I would share this with you all. So what I wanted to transcend is about transcending. And this is people fear or resist what they don't understand. And I'm going to use myself as an example Because I think that's where I block my blessings. You know, you try to look at a situation and if you don't understand it, you either want to learn more about it and embody that situation or you resist it and run away. And this is kind of like a theme in my life. And I can't wait to discuss this a little bit further in more depth and more detail. But through this, I've just realized that when this starts to happen, it's because I'm outside of myself and I'm seeking validation outside of myself, trying to fix things outside of myself and stop doing that. But it's so hard because here's where I'm at the point now. Okay. Um, I'm doing my own transformation and what I've been really focused on is healing family, but I have to bring it back to myself. So I feel like I'm blocking my flow, blocking my flow because I'm putting myself back out there and it's very uncomfortable uh, when you are being stretched to grow. And that is what I am learning through this process, but I'm learning now when I feel that way, I do a meditation Thank God I have that resource. And then I go back to self and I'm going back to the now. I'm one of those people who like is such a dreamer. I've been like this since I can remember. Um, And it's just so explosive all the time, which is, that is our natural flow state. Like I used to blame myself for things and like, is this normal? Like, why am I always creating, creating? I'm like little on up, like that is who I am. You know, I I would start to question things. I'm like, is there something wrong with me that I'm able to just create, create, create all the time? No, we are made. We are the creator. We are supposed to be in that flow. You know, it's um, so interesting because I've learned that it's trauma minus emotion equals the wisdom. And that, my friends, is such a valuable lesson. So if you learned anything from me today, trauma minus the emotion equals wisdom. The other thing that I've learned is the prayer's answer is in the prayer. And one of these things, it's like that song. I always go into music. It's like the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Like that that's the song that came to me today. So, and what does that indicate? What does that indicate? It really indicates that the answer is like within you and that we have all the answers. and We have to come back to self. And like I said, it's so distracting and there's so many distracting factors around us, you know, and trying to balance life. But always go back to self, you know, and I am so happy to admit that I have grown so, so much Um, within the last couple weeks. I want to even say that I've had a lot of breakthroughs, you know, my husband and I have a lot of breakthroughs in our life, uh, which I'm so, so grateful and incredibly blessed for Um, because through our healing, through everything that we have gone through, I know that we will help heal the other people who are close to us. It is such the ripple effect and we are starting to see it and feel it. 
But once again, you know, like I have that big heart and helpful nature and I try to want to solve things outside of myself. And I've learned like to stop doing that, to keep working on myself until I feel like really, really confident to reach back out. Because guess what? Like my purpose, and that's one of the things that I've been, you know, discussing lately, like what is your life purpose? What are you doing? What, what are you doing? What, what did you discover lately? I know that mine is giving love to the world through what I do, like just being me and performing and creating with that. And if anybody is willing and able and open to join me on that ride, beautiful, because I've extended my hand, I've extended my heart, um, I've extended my love out into my community, all the people. I'm so blessed to have so, so many people um, along my path and along my journey and it takes a village, it takes a team um, to create, you know, success. But if you're creating success from within first, like that is the key. And I've, I've ran away from that. Like I always get pulled, you know, being an empath and having such a big heart and just being a loving, kind person. Sometimes you get pulled in so many different directions. It's just natural. Um, and maybe that's part of, you know, being a woman too. But what I want to emphasize is go back to you. Who are you? Who are you as a little child? Like we really just return back home. Like it's so, so interesting, you know, and I sang that song called home. Um, it's on my YouTube. I'm sure it's somewhere on, on Facebook as well from the musical whiz. And that, that resonates with me so, so much. It's returning back home to yourself, you know, and the circle of life and all of that. Um, but you know how we always question, like, are we on the right path? What I'm learning is, yes, <laughs> we have to take it all in and experience it all. The good, the bad, the funny. <laughs> because as I'm learning, it's all like cause and effect of life, universal law. And thank you so much for joining me. I see you guys. Um, I usually don't call out, but I see you um, unless you, you know, comment. So feel free. And if you're watching the replay, you know, what resonated with you today during this live? Um, I know that whatever you're going through right now, you're going through it to enhance your life's purpose. And it's going to create you to become a field expert, okay? And for you to be able to share, hopefully, your truth, like I've been modeling for you all. Um, I just want to say thank you for the support, for the encouragement. Um, I don't come on here for me. <laughs> This is so therapeutic, actually, for me, and I think that's why I really enjoy it, because I get bottled up. Like, I feel like I have so much to tell the world and so much wisdom because I've taken my traumatic experiences them and transcended it out into something beautiful. And this is for you guys. And if you feel touched in any way, let me know, you know, um, and just connect. Like, I don't come on here to pretend I know everything like that will never ever happen in my life but I do know a lot I have a lot of wisdom because I transformed a lot of my life um, and aspects of my life into something greater for the greater good and I want you to take that into consideration what are you doing today to transform to grow in love to grow in wisdom for others are you serving your purpose and what I've also learned is we're not our beliefs Wow like and that's one of those things like and I'm gonna bring humor into this okay and I might it may have brought this up before it's one of those things where like okay limited beliefs I'm like oh I'm in the kitchen and I'm like Joe comes in, he's making a mess. And I'm like, make sure you clean up your mess. Make sure like, 
okay so like then like my mother kicks into my head that like this is what happens you're like oh my gosh like stop this <laughs> stop it you know like let him learn that he has to clean up <laughs> and fix things and like just worry about what you're doing. You know, it's like, why does that happen? Like, I didn't marry Joe to become his mother, right? I married him because our souls are connected. We want to be one. And it's so interesting. Um, you know, we learn so much through these partnerships and marriage. Uh, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And that is where I'm at right now. People fear or resist what they don't understand. <laughs> so like people, I think, get intimidated. Like when I'm, I'm actually reaching out to the community, and I'm tagging people because I'm like, I'm welcoming you. That's just my way of connecting you to me. And people are like, I don't know, um, you know, what you're up to, blah, blah, blah. Like, just trust it. Like, I would never harm. I would never do anything like that would put people um, in danger, you know, purposely um, with that. So I, I'm extending a hand. Like, I want people to perform with me. Like, that's, that's you know, what I'm doing right now. And I've opened that up. And if you are living in fear, it's going to show. I'm going to feel it. I felt like so much... Um, this past week with things, you know, I just want you to be excited and intrigued and allow the law of allowing, allow it to happen, allow it to happen. I think I have been put here so that I could really focus in on my purpose from afar and then reach out when I was ready. God always has a reason. God always has a plan for us. And sometimes it's most of the time it's much greater than we even think. So with that being said, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. What is your purpose? What are you fearing or resisting right now? Because that is where you need, <clears throat> excuse me, the inner work and to do your trauma work. Have a great day. Bye.